Let's talk about advantages of uh, HIFU and uh, monopol monopolary uh, radio frequency practitioner's point of view. Ultrasound assisted uh, high. Recognized and precise method used also in oncology. This is very important that uh, HIFU we can use not only in, let's call uh, aesthetic medicine, uh, but uh, we can use also in a very uh, uh, scientific uh, kind of medicine like oncology and neurology. Big scientific background used, as I told before, also in neurology. HIFU with imaging available commercially. A commercially available device combines... Hi. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you, Fang Wen. And uh, uh, let me introduce Dr. Zhen uh, in the beginning. And Dr. Zhen is a dermatologist in Taiwan, practicing in Taiwan. Um, he did a lot of uh, very interesting um, uh, this study. Uh, especially this one, he tried to compare the difference and did a, a split based, a split -based uh, comparison. So today he will show uh, what he uh, found before. Uh, Dr. Zen, please. So um, the, the comparison between uh, monopolar radio frequency and microfocus ultrasound. Um, so how, um, how, how they perform differently in our patient's faces. We know that these two technologies, they, um, they heat the skin in different ways, uh, two different layers of tissue uh, using different types of energy. But uh, exactly what are the difference uh, clinically? What are the difference that our patients see in their faces? So that is the question that we get to answer every day. So in order to, to get uh, the first hand uh, more correct, um, answer to, to answer our uh, patients. Uh, I did a split face uh, case series. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's my honor to attend the meeting. And uh, first of all, I am very uh, uh, impressive for the result of the, the energy based uh, device practiced by Dr. Zheng. It's so marvelous. The effect is so marvelous. <laughs> And uh, today my topic is about the problem may may not be resolved by energy based device based on anatomy. Uh, a problem caused by the defect, maybe it cannot be resolved by the energy based device because uh, all the device uh, uh, is suitable for the superficial layer. Here, the superficial layer means uh, above the mass above the SMAS. So if the problem uh, is under the SMAS, um, it cannot be resolved by the energy-based device. Here we can see. Thank you. <clears throat> so uh, the king of radio frequency and high is my honor. So hello everyone. It's my pleasure to uh, share my experience of combinating both uh, radio frequency and HIFU and uh, whenever I have a chance, I uh, try to mix or combine these two because it has several uh, benefits. I am Dormi from uh, Leaders Clinic, Seoul. Okay, so when we are planning to make bleed line or to contour face, there will be three key strategies. First, thermally damaged deep dermis uh, to remodel collagen. And second, remove excessive subcutaneous fat. And third, uh, contracts mass to uh, change the vector and lift the face. And these uh, two would be most uh, popular device that we use, uh, which are always compared with each other. So uh, the first, HIFU, the, the HIFU, high intensity focus ultrasound, focuses the ultrasound energy to uh, through transducer to uh, a certain point, creating TCPs, uh, thermal coagulation points. Today's theme is a comparison between HIF and monopolar RF. HIF causes thermal injury zone with a diameter of 1 mm to 1.5 mm in tissue from subcutaneous to SMAS and deep subcutaneous fat. Because the problem is linear, it contracts along that, along that line. So when it hits the depth of the smas, it lifts up outward. 
At our clinic, we mainly use Ultraforma 3 and Ultracell Q+. We recently started using Ultracell Q+, linear cartridges. It tightens the fat layer of less than 60 degrees with the heat, stra heat storage effect.